Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you being here and tuning in for your love story tarot reading. We will be looking at your current energy and how things will play out for you in your love situations and your relationships. So we'll see what comes up for you there, Earth Signs. If you're dealing with an Earth Sign, this reading can be interesting as well. So it may relate to you. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you like this content and you want to see more. Um, otherwise, let's let, let's lay out some cards, okay, and see what's coming up in your current energy. That was reversed, but it sort of flipped over, so I'm going to read it upright. King of Cups, you're in a powerful energy, attracting lots of love currently, falling in love or someone's falling in love with you. Okay, possibly attracting a Pisces into your life. Um, okay, I also feel like... Oh, what do I feel? One, two, three, one, two, three four, five, six. Okay, um, I also feel like the fact that he's here in this imagery, he's sort of laying against the tree, so there is potentially exhaustion here. Um, I feel like somewhat you're loving someone, but it's coming to an exhausting energy. Um, you're exhausted from loving someone or being attached, or this person is exhausted from loving you. Now, not necessarily a bad connotation. It's not bad, but it's more like proving your love. So there's a lot of proving of love happening in this current situation. So if you've got someone out there and they're doing lots for you, Earth Signs, chances are they are doing that because they love you. Okay, which is really powerful. Okay, so some of you have this very deep bond or will have this very deep bond. Four of Swords tells me it might be, next card over, it might be temporary or you might take a break from this love connection or a break is needed. Now, not necessarily break up, but a break, okay? Taking a step back and looking at the situation for what it is. For some of you, you do feel like you want to end some things, possibly with this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, Four of Swords could indicate, I feel like something is lacking for you and you want to make some changes. I do see you making those changes if you want to. Next card is Eight of Swords reversed. So I feel like I'm um, You've had some thought about changing up a connection or walking away, taking a break. You haven't done it as yet. It could indicate in the very near future, that's the step you're going to take Earth Signs and it's probably going to be the best one for you. Um, Four of Wands, next card reversed. So we've got the marriage card. Some of you might experience some upheaval in marriages, possibly a divorce or a moving away from a connection for some time. Again, this is happiness being taken away from a connection. So it's important to keep injecting happiness into the relationship or you're going to lose that connection. Some of you are feeling you've lost that happiness with the person here as well. Um, so that could also be the case here. You will confront these issues head on and work through them. The Knight of Cups is here. So this is emotionally not being able to get through to someone. So I feel like there is a bit of a, you've got a bit of a testing period coming up. And I would say there's, it's, chances are you've got some lessons to learn here, Earth Signs. And I can see further in your future, this is going to impact what's happening now, your long-term future. The issues that you currently have at hand will affect the long-term future. So I want you to remember your current reality how you're reacting to things, the people you're choosing, the behavior you're tolerating, um, the behavior you're, you've got standards for, etc., is really pivotal for you right now, okay? Because the Six of Swords is the next one here. Some of you are fixated on a situation, on a love situation, being exhausted to love someone. You've been trying to move forward with them, but it just doesn't seem likely to happen. Could also be that at that stage, someone reaches out and tells you they're unable to move on from you. It could be the same person here, that person you've left, you're exhausted with dealing with. Four of Swords has come up again later on. Could it be the air sign? Maybe, but this time it's reversed. Um, it's about not wanting to take time away and not wanting to take a break. Things will get a little bit easier here, I feel. So you may, uh, someone may tell you, I don't want to take a break. I feel distant from you. I want to reconnect. And they may do that. Eliminating um, options here as well, which is great. So a lot more monogamy is coming your way. Two of Pentacles reversed. 
Uh, I also feel like there could be a long distance relationship forming. You may relocate or go on a holiday or visit someone you love and respect and want to be with. Um, that's very likely here. We've got the infinity symbol here. So this is a forever person that's coming up um, around you here, around this time frame. Could also be a earth sign, a fellow earth sign connecting with you here as well. But there's some sort of journey. It's a physical journey. Could be long distance. You might be meeting someone foreign or you're separated geographically around this stage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you a little bit puzzled. Next card, Seven of Cups. Okay, so you're going to start to daydream, daydream or want more, daydream about a different life, daydream about the future with this person. Um, emotionally, things will be up in the air and there'll be a, a moment where you'll have to choose. I feel like there's a choice that's going to be made and it's almost like the relationship will be amongst one of the cups and the others will be like your career, your dream career, your relationship, this person, a living situation. It's almost like you'll have so many things come up in your life and you'll have to choose from amongst them. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's a bit, a, a lot of pressure here. You know, it's a bit overwhelming to read because I think, yes, you can handle it. But I think, you know, I wonder if someone's going to give you an ultimatum here. But some, somehow I feel like it's outside of your hands. It's outside of your control. Next card is the Queen of Pentacles. So it's almost like the universe is going to make the decision for you. Or the decision, the result, the outcome you end up with is perhaps not what you not what you intended. Not what you really wanted. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Look, maybe it's just timing. Okay? The Queen of Pentacles normally gets what she gets because she's the last queen of the deck. So it's like... You'll come so far in the relationship and then the last 10% is going to be the hardest to get to whichever milestone you want to get to. It's like you do, you'll do the 80, 90% and then the last 10% you'll feel like it's a, it's drag, it's dragging on. I think it's part of the lesson you need to learn perhaps. I also feel like something about timing. Timing is very important in life. Um, it's very important in our love lives especially. And I think it's coming up for a reason. So you might be affected by that um, with that Queen of Pentacles reversed. Next card over is a Six of Swords. Some of you, what just came to me then, are going to avoid divorce or avoid some sort of legal battle or separation. So some of you that have planned to separate from this person or distance yourself, you might change your mind and do a complete 360. Um, if things are one-sided in your relationship, by then you're going to start to see more effort from your person. So the energy will change and it may be more balanced could be Taurus or a Libra coming up around you during that time. Um, but again, I feel like you might be offered some sort of help in a, in a connection. Could be therapy, marriage counseling, couples therapy. Um, it could be meditation. It could be something that you choose with your person. And it's going to help bring you closer together. Could be tantric workshops. Could be uh, going taking each other out again. Something you'll experiment with that's going to help your relationship move forward, I feel. Okay, and the last card into the distant future, you've got the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's reversed. So, okay, a marriage or an engagement might not go how you planned. Again, could be timing or it could be one of you don't want the traditional coupling up. And it's going to be up to you whether you choose to stay or go. I also feel like new opportunities may not come to you as easily and as frequently, new people, new connections. And if you're single by that time, it could indicate that there's more internal work that you have to do. And that's why maybe the universe might not be sending you people, but not necessarily. Ace of Cups could indicate that you're emotionally blocked and you need to open up. There's some sort of blockages that may need to be worked on, I feel, by that time, especially emotionally speaking. Um, we've got the bird, so I feel like there's an emotional message a very heartfelt message it could be from someone from the past or it could be something you discover about yourself or your inner child, your upbringing as well that somehow is going to make sense in or fit into your love life um, in some capacity. Uh, but overall, I will leave it at that uh, earth sign. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
um, if you have enjoyed this content. Also to reach out if you were after a private reading. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch very, very soon. So thank you again so much, everyone, for watching. And until next time, bye for now.